hello everyone what we're going to focus on in this video is the distributive law right and the distributive law states that if you have a plus b in bracket times x that is actually equal to x open bracket a plus b which is actually equal to ax plus bx where a and b is a real number and x is a variable right so what is this really saying this is us really saying that you take whatever is outside of the bracket to multiply each term inside of the bracket right and that's how you would get ax plus bx Let's look at some example. Remove the bracket using distributive law in each of the following. So the first example we have is number one, which is five open bracket x plus y, right? So we have five open bracket x plus y, right? And we are asked to use the distributive law to remove the bracket. Now, what this means, we are basically taking the 5 to multiply each term inside of the bracket. So, we're taking this 5 to multiply the variable x. And we're also taking the 5 to multiply the variable y. So, that's basically what they ask us to do. So, here, it's going to be... 5 times x plus 5 times y. And if we combine this, 5 times x, that's just going to give us 5x plus 5 times y, that's what's going to give us 5y. And that's it. So that's how you use the distributive law to remove the bracket. Let's look at the second example. Example number two, we have three open bracket 5x. minus 2y again what we're doing we're taking what is outside of the bracket which is this 3 here to multiply each term inside of the bracket so we're going to take this 3 to multiply 5x and then we're going to take the same 3 to multiply minus 2y we basically finish so it's going to be 3 times 5x minus 3 times 2y. Now if we combine this, 3 times 5x, that's going to give us 15x. Minus 3 times 2y, that's going to give us 6y. And that's it. Easy as you like. Alright. Let's look at the third one. Third example, we have minus 7. Open bracket. A plus b again same idea you're taking what's outside of the bracket to multiply each term inside of the bracket so we're going to take we're going to take this negative 7 to multiply the a and then take negative 7 to multiply positive b so it's going to be negative 7 times a 
plus negative 7 times b. Negative 7 times a, that's going to give us negative 7a. Plus times negative, that's going to give us negative. So negative 7 times b, that's just going to be negative 7b. So it's going to be minus 7b. And we are finished here. Easy, right? Now to the fourth example. We have for the fourth example, we have three open bracket x plus y close bracket plus five open bracket x plus y here it's the same idea for the first part of the question we're going to use three to multiply each term inside of this bracket here and for the second part of the question we're going to use five to multiply each term inside of this bracket here all right so what's this going to equal to three times x that's going to give us three x three times positive y that's going to give us positive three y positive five times x that's going to give us positive five x positive five times positive y that's going to give us positive 5y now here if you notice i have two set of terms i have some term with x some terms with y so what we are going to do we're actually going to group the like terms so here let me highlight the like terms 3x is a like term to positive 5x and 3y is a like term to positive 5y so what we're going to do is to group the like terms so we're going to write 3x move this 5x with the sign in front of it and put it here so it's going to be plus 5x plus this 3y plus this 5y and what we're going to do is to combine the like terms to give us one term so 3x plus 5x that's going to give us 8x and positive 3y plus 5y that's going to give us plus 8y And then we are finished, cannot be simplified any further. So our final answer is 8x plus 8y. Now to our final example, which is example number five. We are given four times 3a minus 2b close bracket plus 3 open bracket 4a minus 3b close bracket now again we are going to take what's take the number outside of each bracket to multiply each term inside of the bracket so we're going to use the 4 to multiply the 3a. 
I'm going to use the 4 to multiply the minus 2b. Then we're going to switch over and use this positive 3 to multiply the 4a. Then use positive 3 to multiply negative 3b. All right. So 4 times 3a, that's going to give us 12a. 4 times minus 2b, that's going to give us minus 8b. Positive 3 times positive 4a, that's going to give us positive 12a. And positive 3 times negative 3b, that's going to give us minus 9b. At this stage, what we're going to do, we're going to group all the like terms. So here we have 12a, and here we have also have 12a over here. Here we have minus 8b, and here we have minus 8, 9b. So what we're going to do is group the like terms, so it's going to be 12 a plus 12 a minus 8 b minus 9 b and when we combine the like terms 12 a plus 12a, that's going to give us 24a. Here, note that we have a minus 8b and we have a minus 9b. The rule says add and keep the same sign. So we know that it's going to be minus here. And if we add 8 plus 9, that's going to give us 17b. So our final answer is 24a minus 7b. All right. Thank you for watching and do enjoy the rest of your day.